Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about the total market cap of the entire cryptocurrency asset class. And we're gonna be looking at its fair valuation using logarithmic regression. So if you guys like this content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, come join the discussion in the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. And also we'll see it's up here in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. And if you want access to the premium list, uh, then check out the website here into the cryptoverse.com. This will give you weekly insights into you know various metrics like logarithmic regression, risk analysis, etc. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in. So we've talked about this chart before, and essentially the idea is to look at say a you know quote unquote fair valuation of the total cryptocurrency market cap. Now for the first few years, it's just taking Bitcoin's market cap. And and the reason is because you know originally there were no other coins um, that existed and then you slowly had you know coins come into the you know come into the space and and from that point on we're, we're taking into account the total cryptocurrency market cap you can see for instance the market cap reached almost a trillion uh, it was over 800 billion during the last during the peak of the last market cycle so this is what we're going to be looking at in this video so what i've provided here is the red line is our fair valuation. So it helps you to identify when the market cap as a whole of all of the cryptocurrencies out there is undervalued or overvalued. Uh, you can see that I've also provided these dashed green lines to help further identify the bottom and then the top. So essentially, if you see the, if you see the total cryptocurrency market cap coming above this green line, like you see it here, 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 and here, then it probably means that we're in the final days before a legendary crash. Uh, and, and this is just to, to help you stay aware of what's going on and, and help you identify when you, might want to stake, when you might want to start taking profits if you have not already. Now, this is not financial advice. This is just using these mathematical models to try to make some sense of this very volatile market. So... When we're near the green band on the bottom, then historically, it's a really good time to be buying. So between the green and the red. When we're in this region, then you have to be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more cautious because at this point, it's more of, say, a shorter term speculative gamble than it would be a, you know, an actual, say, long term investment. It would have been, uh, you know, akin to purchasing Bitcoin in the summer of 2019 at around thirteen to fourteen thousand dollars, as opposed to just purchasing it when it was near the two hundred week moving average at say thirty one hundred dollars back in December of twenty eighteen. So by looking at, at charts like this, it helps you, you know, reduce the noise in the market. You you don't care about daily emotions, you don't care about anything like this. You just look, okay, where are we in the grand scheme of things? You know, I'm gonna allocate some time to look into cryptocurrency today. Uh, let's see where the charts have us. And then, you know, I'm going to look at it, I'm going to plan accordingly, and then I'm going to continue on about my life and not checking cryptocurrency prices every five minutes. Um, so this is generally not healthy. And again, the purpose of this channel is not day trading. It's more so for the people who, you know, are, are just looking to time those longer term momentum shifts into the market. So you can see during the last market cycle, we spent a significant amount of time between the fair valuation line and then our, you know, our definitive undervaluation line. So between these regions. In our current market cycle, we've only really just begun uh, this phase. You can see we dipped below it in 2018, um, but now we've really come into it. And we're gonna be looking, what I, what I suspect to happen would be for us to continue along this path for at least another 12 months or so. Now, obviously I would not have predicted the, you know, the market cap coming back up to uh, you know, this point over here back in, in the summer of 2019. Uh, I don't think many people actually predicted that. Um, but what, what's important, again, is not what the market cap does or what the price does of any individual asset. It's how you react to it. Um, so what I think, I could be wrong, what I think is going to happen is that we're going to, you know, continue in this slight uptrend channel for the next 12 to 18 months. So if you know, if I also, I just wanted to, to quickly show how you can look at these under and under, under and over valuations. If you look, historically speaking, the undervaluation typically comes to around, say, 30 to 40 percent. So meaning about around negative 60 to negative 70 percent, say, undervalued or so. Uh, so this historically is the best time to buy. And you can even see 
during our last crash down to around uh, $3,800, but on the daily time frame, which is what this would have captured, around 5,500 uh, for Bitcoin or say the total cryptocurrency market cap accordingly, you can see we were right around that region. So this helps you again identify these, these times to get into the market. We're still below the, the fair valuation line. So once we get up to 100%, then this means looking at say our fair value, we would be you know currently at that fair valuation. Now currently, the total cryptocurrency market cap as at the time of this video is around 265 billion. The trend line, the fair valuation says that it should be at 407 billion. Now, this means that we're, you know, undervalued by about 35% or so. I don't, again, I don't anticipate us shooting back up to the center line in the immediate future, but you never know what's going to happen. And that's why I say you always need to have a plan if and when that does happen, because you don't want to just sit in the cryptocurrency market for, for 10 years and watch, say, like 20 or 30x gains just disappear. This is not what you want to do. You want to have a plan. So look at these types of charts uh, to identify under an overvaluation. And I actually do have this chart in a Google Sheets document for those people who, you know, who, who want to who, who want to follow along. And just to show you, if you want to, you can sign up at intothecryptoverse.com. You'll get access to the premium list. It, re it gives you uh, access to a weekly report. And again, it's not just some soft report where I, I show my feelings. It's just hard numbers. Uh, I, I talk through what I think they mean. We look at risk metric. We look at we look at logarithmic regression. We look at traditional markets sometimes. Uh, check this out. If you want a discount, you can pay with crypto for six or twelve months, and you'll get either like five or ten percent off. Uh, so check out that into the cryptoverse.com. Again, we're capping. One of the perks uh, right now is a private Telegram group, and currently we have around two hundred and twenty six people in the group. We're capping it at 250. So once we get to 250, then we're not adding, you know, we're, we're gonna close it down to new members. Maybe I'll have like say a waiting list in case there's any form of attrition, which I imagine there would be over the macro scale. Uh, but you know, you're, it's gonna be a lot harder to get into the group. So if you really wanna get into the group and be part of the community um, for the duration of say the, the next market cycle, which will likely take us out to 2023 or 2024, then make sure you go ahead and check this out because again, this perk will be disappearing once we get to 250 members. And again, right now we're at around 226. So just keep that in the back of your mind. You can obviously sign up for the reports and the, and the premium videos that come out once a week, anytime, but access to the premium Telegram group, the private group will be disappearing. Um, so let me go ahead and, and continue on here because I, I want to reiterate a few different things. Uh, again, you know, this is more or less what I think is going to happen. We're probably just going to continue to move sideways for an extended period of time and then ultimately breaking out above our previous all time high in terms of the total cryptocurrency market cap sometime in late 2021 or early 2022, which would also correspond to Bitcoin hopefully getting to $20,000. We've said many times that 2019, 2020 and likely the first half of 2021 are probably going to be the best accumulation years for Bitcoin moving forward. Now, again, don't discount the chance that Bitcoin could go to $20,000 at any time, but at least use this information to know what is the likely scenario to play out if we continue to repeat, say, past market cycles. Um, so I imagine this would take us out to, you know, 2023, sometime in that time frame, peaking at just over, say, $10 trillion in market cap. And, you know, sometimes people will say, well, what about, could it be seven or eight trillion or what could it, you know, what about 15 trillion? And my response again is, what's a few trillion among friends here? We're, we're, you know, we're talking about in general, where do we think it's going to be? And if Bitcoin gets to around $100,000, $140,000, you know, we're looking at a market cap of Bitcoin, uh, maybe between say two and two and three trillion, somewhere in that range, which would mean that the rest of the altcoin market um, would would probably make up around around seven you know six trillion seven trillion or so, but this would be at the peak, and then again a lot of those coins will lose value with respect to Bitcoin, and then we'll likely repeat the whole the whole cycle again, but with a much more extended market cycle for the next run. So one of the things I wanted to show you just to help you know some people like these different visualizations is to just kind of draw like a right angle that shows you basically the, the amount we went up from the bottom and then the time it took to get there. And you can and, and you can see as I as I march through this that the you know the, the move up and then the time to get there. Uh, so the move up becomes less and then the time to get there becomes longer. 
So going through, say, each market cycle, this is more or less what I would expect. So again, this is not, you know, this channel is it's not a game of scalping. It's not a game of day trading. It's nothing like that. Uh, if, you, if you want that, there are plenty of channels out there ex that exist, um, plenty of them. And, and that's not what the focus of this channel is. It's more so for uh, looking at the markets from the macro scale, timing our investments, not financial advice, but timing our investments so that we can, so that we can you know, take advantage of a, of a longer term shift in the momentum of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Now, remember, the majority of my portfolio right now is Bitcoin. It has been, it is now, and it always will be. Uh, so Bitcoin is the market mover. In 2023, if Bitcoin does go to six figures and, you know, 90% of the altcoins that you thought were going to return to their all-time highs never do, you know, a lot of your friends and family might think, oh, man, you, you must have done so well because you got into cryptocurrency in 2019 or something like that. And, you know, deep down, you'll just be thinking, oh, if only I hadn't put all this money into, into just all these random coins. So, again, there are going to be some coins that probably outperform Bitcoin. But there's a there's a huge risk associated with it, and for every dollar you're not putting into Bitcoin, obviously there's an opportunity cost by putting it into into a different coin. And it's not that it's not that other coins won't do well, but the way I see it is I don't want to miss the move that Bitcoin has. And and typically, you know, I think when Bitcoin makes a run at twenty thousand dollars, and when Bitcoin makes a run at a hundred thousand dollars, the rest of the market's going to sit still and watch what happens. Just kind of like in our current move, a lot of, of a lot of coins have more or less sat still as Bitcoin has gone from, you know, 3,800 up to uh, around $10,000 in, in just a couple months. Now, obviously, some coins have outperformed Bitcoin, but for the most part, Bitcoin has has been one of the leaders there. If you just look at, say, your ROI from March 13th um, through today. So I hope you guys like the channel. Uh, I would also appreciate it. We are, you know, we're, we're nearing 20,000 members. We currently have around uh, 19,300 so why don't we show Bitcoin how it's done? Why don't we why don't we show Bitcoin how to how to break through that twenty thousand resistance? Hopefully we don't we don't we won't then retrace back down to um, thirty one hundred subscribers. Let's let's show Bitcoin how it's done, and and let's break through twenty thousand dollars, and and continue on moving up, and then spread the word. If you guys think your friends would like this type of analysis on the cryptocurrency markets, where we actually use math and uh, look at it from a different perspective than you'll find somewhere else, then please share the video and and leave a comment down below of what you think. Uh, again, subscribe to the premium list if you want to join that and the private Telegram group, which will be capped at, at 250. So we have around 24 slots left. So thanks for tuning in. I will see you guys next time. Bye.